I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys, uh, you know how, you know how this works. We start with our cold open, and then we smash into our VTR, our videotape recording, also known as our main title. And over the VTR, our very own Perg Shelton says, live from Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, it's party night in Hollywood. Not yet, don't waste it. We're gonna have a great show from the ABC Smash It Desert Housewives. The Liberty Hubbard is here tonight. Okay, we have to have some rationality here, but this, this conversation is dry. Uh, I want Jack Rudolph on the phone. Wes, Sir, I, I don't have a call. Jack's at a dinner party. Let's disturb him. Jack pays me to make these calls. And Jack pays me to do this show, you ridiculous fat ass. What is your name? Suzanne. Suzanne, pick up that phone. Dial 06. Tell my secretary I want the chairman of NBS. Yes, sir. Stay where you are, Suzanne. I'm trying to save us all a lot of tourists. Jerry, this sketch is funny. It killed a dress. And funny is in very short supply around here lately. I'm in charge of broadcast standards and practices. I'm not in charge of funny. Who's it going to offend, huh? Tell me. Wes. Just give me the names. People who, religious people. God, Wes, and you knew that when you... What do you want me to say to the 50 million people who are going to go out of their minds as soon as it airs? First of all, you can tell them that we average 9 million households. So that's at least 41 million who are full of crap. And the second, you could tell them that living where there's free speech means sometimes you get offended. You got to cut the sketch. What am I going to replace it with? Whatever you want. Peripheral Vision Man is ready. Peripheral know? Vision Man is not funny. It's never been funny. I know what. I, I, I want to talk to Jordan McGear. You can't. She's at a dinner party, too? Yes. Yes, she is. It's the same dinner party. It's a dinner party for Jordan McGear. You don't have a lot of time. What happens if I say no? What if I go on air with the sketch? I'm not going to answer that. Why not? Because if you still had the muscle to do it, you wouldn't have asked. In the control room, we're cutting 4A and filling it with peripheral vision, man. We're live in 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. My fellow Americans, I'm here to speak to you tonight about a very serious subject, my legacy. Legacy is a 480 SAT word, which turns out does not mean a woman with nice legs, as in uh, Paula Zahn, primo legacy. No, my friends, legacy means the impact one leaves behind. Oh, stop this, stop now, this. My vice president Let's stop it, uh, Tom. Vice president Can you hear uh, listen, fellas, but we're, we're, we're going to stop it. Did we lose the beat? No, we're live. <laughs> I'd like both of you to clear the stage. I don't want anyone to think that you were part of this. <laughs> You clear the stage. Go on. Go on. Go on. Uh, it's not going to be a very good show tonight. And I think you should change the channel. What the change hell? the channel. When did they put this right, right now. So anybody know what the hell's going on? Yeah, yeah, Betty, turn off the TV, okay? No, no, I... I know it seems like this is supposed to be funny, but uh, tomorrow... Tomorrow you're going to find out that it wasn't, and uh, by that time I'll have been fired. No, this, this is not some... Have BTQ BTQ. This is not a sketch. Uh, this is real. You want to go to BTR? This show used to be cutting-edge political and social satire, but it's gotten lobotomized by a candy-ass broadcast network. Hell-bent on doing nothing that might challenge their audience. We were about to do a sketch that you've seen already about 500 times. Yeah, yeah no one's going to confuse George Bush with George Plimpton. Now, we get it. We're all being lobotomized by this country's most influential industry. It's just thrown in the towel on any endeavor to do anything that doesn't include the courting of 12-year-old boys. And not even the smart 12-year-olds, the stupid ones, the idiots, which there are plenty, thanks to no small measure to this network. So why don't you just change the channel? Turn off your TV. Do it right now. Go ahead. No, no, I, oh, I get it. This is not now. Uh, get the camera off of it. Put it on what? Cut the boom, I get it. his show. I it's take my instructions from him. A struggle between art and commerce. Well, there's always been a struggle between art and commerce. And now I'm telling you, art is getting its ass kicked. And it's making us mean. And it's making us bitchy. It's making us cheap punks. That's not who we are. People are having contests to see how much they can be like Donald Trump. 
Are you bleeping this out? He hasn't said anything you're not allowed to say. He's telling people to change the channel. I don't think you have to worry about anybody changing the channel right now. Get him off or you don't have a job tomorrow. I'm running a live national broadcast and he threatened me later. We're eating worms for money. Who wants to screw my sister? Guys are getting killed in a war that's got theme music and a logo. That remote in your hand is a crack pipe. Oh, yeah, every once in a while we pretend to be appalled. Yes, I'm waiting for him to say something that isn't true. Who else in here knows how to do this? Come to my control room. Get him off. You got two kids in school. What? She said you got two kids in private school whose father's five seconds away from never working again. Pornographers. It's not even good pornography. They're just this side of snuff films. And friends, that's what's next because that's all that's left. Cal, come on. And the two things that make them scared gutless are the FCC and every psycho religious cult that gets positively horny at the very mention of a boycott. All right, stand These by VTR. The We're going to cut in early. Percy, feckless, off the chart. Greenfield Warehouse. There it is. Technology. This thoroughly unpatriotic. Mother, we dare now.